Hi and welcome. Thank you for joining me on this um, sink sinking funds cash stuffing journey. Um, as you can tell, I'm Canadian. If you see this video and you've been thinking about doing it, start now. Like you, I have been watching videos, um, listening. I love listening to people counting the money. I think it's really fun and motivational. And it took me some time to start. I watched some videos and I would be like, maybe next week, um, maybe after next pay. But I think start with what you have. You can start little. If you don't have the binders yet, start with paper envelopes. Every week that you start is gonna be a little bit further than you thought you could be and further towards your goal, whatever that is. Um, this year in 2021, I have had tons of goals and they're all kind of around budgeting, saving, personal finance, um, being a successful business owner, um, having different streams of income and being more consciously connected to the money I do have, plus opening that up to collecting more money and repairing the relationship I've had in the past with my own money, whether that is like a bit of overspending, um, maybe guilt, but let me know. Are you guys feeling this way too? Um, but yeah, my goals have been around creating more financial freedom for myself and being a little bit more responsible with my spending. And this whole beginning of this journey has been really fun. So if you have been thinking about doing it, subscribe and join me and start week one. Or if you're already started, comment below. Let me know how long you've been doing this for. Um, I'm just looking for inspiration right now and I'm loving starting. Um, so let me know what it's been like for you if you're able to save money and uh, if you're enjoying the process. If you think it even repairs the way you feel about money because I think um, to have a strong foundation for saving and respecting your money could really help your money grow in a big way. So yeah. So um, let's get started. I have this sheet, which is a paycheck envelope breakdown. Um, so I will link this. Um, so then that way, if you guys want this, um, you can pick it up yourself. There's also an expense tracker that comes with it um, because this is week one. We haven't filled it out yet. Um, but you'll see here, I started putting in what I know. Okay, so we have Canadian money here. So we have fives, we have twenties, and I got 150 here. We do have loonies and toonies, so it's colorful. And then we have our dollars and two dollars in coins. So that was in my car when I was cleaning up my car and I was like, perfect, I'll use that. Um, Cause it's kind of fun. So um, on my sheet here, I have written down things that I know on the left side. So OSAP in Canada or Ontario even um, is a student loan. So I know that my car amount, I know that all those kind of things um, I put in on the left and then my sinking funds I put on the right. Some of them I think I might switch around, put them on one side or the other um, depending on how it goes. So I wanted to try it first um, and see how it goes for week one and then maybe week two we'll kind of switch and move things around um, so that's awesome and then these binders I actually made these and I am obsessed with them I have been sharing them with my friends um, and they have been ordering them too because they're just awesome I got them off Amazon um, they came this one came with no sleeves in it I ordered extra sleeves and this one here came with sleeves, but not enough. So I used the extra extra sleeves on this one as well. This one has the sequins and this one's the sparkle. So that's really cool. Um, and then I did put some names on all of them using a Cricut. So that's kind of fun as well. So first we'll start with this one. So this is my main one that I'll be using when I'm spending. Um, very first one is called spending. So spending, we have $30. Where I am, we're still kind of in lockdown, so I haven't been doing too much spending. So 30 should be good. Got 
groceries. So I actually put aside $20 for groceries because I just went grocery shopping. Um, and this was the change that was left over. So that, I think I'll leave it at that or I might add another 20. We'll come back to this one. Gas. just paid so I was just gonna put a 20 in just to help for the next phone bill won't feel as big next is my car so my car I already put in my bank account because it comes out automatically I just left it in there I thought it might as well same with OSAP OSAP comes out this week as well I just left that money in there and my insurance same thing left it in there um, taxes so I do have uh, Etsy shop that does really well and I'm very grateful for it um, so for my taxes I've been keeping in my account but I thought it's kind of fun let's start a folder and just add to it uh, debt snowball I had $20 let's do that in fives Was open. So debt snowball. Um, I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. I'm thinking maybe at the end of the month I'll just put it on some different things that I would like to pay down. Um, but this envelope makes me feel really excited. And then I made myself a savings challenge. So this I taped it to the back here. I'll flip it around. So basically, there's only 44 weeks left uh, for the rest of this year. I already circled 50 because I knew that's what I wanted to do. But here you have the first four sections. Each month has four weeks. Technically, some have a little bit more. Um, but I put four amounts there, and that's for a 2K challenge. Um, and then the bonus is a thousand. So anytime I have a little bit extra, I'd like to just strike off one of these bonuses and these bonuses equal a thousand. So in total, it's a 3000 challenge, uh, which is really cool. I'm very excited. I think it's just another fun way of saving. So we're gonna put this $50 bill right in here. And I already had the satisfaction of striking it out which is cool. I just did that with permanent marker. This I made and I can put a link in it. So you, if you'd like to start now too, or if you start a little bit later and just kind of want to move around, that's cool too. There's not really very many ones starting in March. So I had to make it, I made it and I laminated it myself, which makes it more fun. And I sent it to a few of my friends um, and they're going to do it as well. So I find if you have a friend, and you wanna share with them the challenge itself or even videos, that's what I've been doing and my friends have been really loving it and thanking me for it. So that's fun. It's nice to motivate each other um, and to check in and see how you're doing. So that one's done. So our next one is some fun envelopes. So my very first one's vacation. For vacation, when I found the $10 change in my car, I was like, you know what? Let's add that to vacation. 2021, I hope to go somewhere fun. Um, I'd like to go to Hawaii. I don't know, traveling with Canada right now is really hard, so I will um, save money and then wherever I can go at the time when the opportunity strikes, I'll definitely go. I'm gonna add another five, so I have 15 for vacation. Outdoorsy, so outdoorsy to me um, means we're gonna buy a hot tub. So that's something we're looking forward to uh, this spring or summer. I also do tons of vegetable gardening and I'm getting into flowers now. So I have seeds started 
um, for the summer for vegetables. So there's always things you kind of need with gardening. So I thought putting some cash aside is fine. I know I definitely will use it, so that's good. And I can always add to it when I am anticipating I'm gonna buy more. So that's a good one to have. Um, next one is house remodel. Um, so this one can mean anything. So for me, I have, again, only $5. Um, this could mean new pillows. This also could mean when we do our kitchen renovation. So I have big dreams, big goals. So this $5 is gonna be the first of many dollars that will come into this envelope. And it's nice to kind of budget it in that way. So I'm not going out every weekend buying home stuff. Um, I have this kind of limiting budget, which makes me feel excited. <laughs> Okay, so shipping. So shipping, I do a lot of shipping for my Etsy shop um, and I take the money right out of um, the money that gets deposited knowing that that is shipping money. Um, but I'd like to just start another envelope because it's kind of fun again to have that and if I upgrade shipping for someone's order, sometimes I do that when there isn't a tracking number and I think there should be. Um, then I have a little bit of cash put aside. So that's great, so excited. Um, savings, so this one I made, and it's just general savings. Um, we have the savings challenge in itself, but I thought it's just good to have a general savings envelope. So $5 in there. Family time, so family time. It's only my partner and I, um, him and I like to do fun things. He works a lot right now, but in the summer, we'll want to do a lot of fun activities. Um, this also means things to do with my brothers and my parents. So we'll put five in there and then who knows where that'll go. Boss up. So boss up means business. So this could be anything from a new camera um, to getting new cards printed, thank you cards printed different stuff like that. So I am excited for this envelope as well. And again, who knows what we'll get or how much we'll fill in there, but that's an exciting one. Wedding. <laughs> no, I'm not engaged, but I love to plan. Um, and I also have a vision of a dream wedding and it's not, it definitely needs a bit of its own fund, its own money fund for the kind of dream that I have. So why not start now, right? Clothing. It's fun to do clothing orders. So $5 is gonna go in there. Celebrate, um, it was just my partner's birthday. So I actually put aside money in my mind going, this is the celebrate money. And that was a part of the gift. Decorations, cause I surprised him with some decorations and cupcakes and things like that. Um, so that came out of this fund. Uh, so you know what, I'll still put some cash in there for the next one. There's tons of birthdays coming up. Um, all my girlfriends have birthdays in the next like, I would say four months, they're all kind of jammed together. So having money aside for parties um, and gifts, things like that. Uh, not really party right now because of COVID, but you know what I mean? Just having little favors for someone is special. So that is an important envelope. Emergency, I'm gonna put $5 in there. We know what emergency means. Could be whatever we need. That is a good one. And then car maintenance. I love my car and I appreciate my car so much, but it's good to be a little prepared, a little $5 prepare, preparedness, start the ball rolling. Uh, beauty and wellness. I put beauty and wellness together I wasn't sure if I was gonna do that. I'm gonna try it and see if I like them together um, or if I wanna separate them. There's $5 in there. And that's my last envelope. Um, is there any envelopes that I'm missing? One I did think of after was tech. 
as a graphic designer, there's always like stuff that you want to buy when there's new trends in tech stuff. I could always think of something that I need. Um, another one I don't have is Christmas, which it's March now. Starting Christmas would be a very good idea. Um, so that might be one, but if you can think of others that I'm missing or if you think Christmas should be started in March, comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, I also can make a video on how I made this, these binders with the Cricut letters and stuff like that, or how you could do it if you don't have a Cricut, because you could do it just the same. Um, let me know and I can make that video. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're starting your journey with me. We're starting with maybe $5 in an envelope, maybe less all the way up to however much you want. This is a journey. We're just getting started. Let's see where we're at at a year. Thank you so much. Bye.